Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study sums with 10. That means we're going to study two groups of things that together make 10. We have a total of 10 in each case. And look at all these triangles I drew. In each box here there are 10 triangles, but they are divided into two groups. For example here I have 10 triangles in this one group. In this group none or zero. And we write the addition 10 plus zero and that equals 10. On this side the numbers are flipped so we have zero plus 10 equals 10. That's easy. Now over here I have 9 on this side and 1 here. So it is 9 plus 1 and that equals 10 too. Over here I have 1 and 9. Just these same two numbers but flipped or switched in their order. 1 plus 9 equals 10. And then we go in order. There is a pattern. 10 here, 9 here and then 8 here and then 7 here and 6 here. Right? And then 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. So 8 plus 2, 7 plus 3 and 6 plus 4 all make 10. 10, 10, 10. Right, Matthew? Right, he says 2. And over here, 2 plus 8 equals 10. And then over here, 3 plus 7 equals 10. And here 6 and 4, so here 4 and 6. And the last one is if you were sharing 10 triangles evenly with your brother or sister, 5 and 5. You remember that from your fingers, 5 and 5 makes 10. Now, I want you to remember all these. I want you to memorize them. So look at them for a little while and practice. Try to remember 9 and 1. 8 and 2, 7 and 3, 6 and 4, 5 and 5 make 10. And then we're going to practice. Here's a little drill. I'm going to point to a problem and then you try to say the answer as fast as you can. And try not to look here. Try to remember. 2 and what makes 10? 8. 5 plus what number makes 10? Well, it's the 5 and 5. 7 plus what makes 10? 3. And 4 plus what number makes 10? 6. 1 plus how many makes 10? 9. 8 plus how many more makes 10? 2. And then 3 plus how many makes 10? 7. And 6, 6 plus how many makes 10? 4. Now math is going to drill you, right? Right. Okay, he's going to point to problems and then you say the answer as fast as you can, okay? Over here. Okay, how well did you do? I hope you did really well. Let's go on. Here we are doing comparisons. We are writing either less than or greater than or equal sign in these blue boxes. So here we have 2 plus 4 on this side and 5 on the other side. Which one is more? Now 2 plus 4, we need to solve that. How much is 2 plus 4? It is 6. So here's 6 and here's 5. And now we draw the alligator's mouth. 6 is more, right? 2 plus 4 is greater than 5. 3 plus 4 and 8. 3 plus 4 is 7. And then 8. 8 is more. So we draw the mouth this way. 7 is less than 8. Or 3 plus 4 is less than 8. 4 plus 5. Remember how much that is from the previous lesson? Sums with 9. 4 and 5 makes 9. So this is equals. 3 and then 1 plus 1 on that side, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 3 is greater than 1 plus 1. 10 and 3 plus 6. 3 plus 6 again, it's a sum of 9. So 10 is greater than 9, right? And then 8, 7 plus 2. Again, this makes 9. And that's more than 8. So 
8 is less than 7 plus 2. Anne had 6 teddy bears, then she got 3 more teddy bears. How many does she have now? That's a simple problem. Anne has 6 and then 3 more. So we add 6 plus 3, right? I'm gonna write here the addition. 6 plus 3 equals 9. She has 9 now. Matthew owns 5 teddy bears. Only one is in his room. Matthew, where are the others? They are missing. But why? Is your room so messy? It's sometimes messy. Matthew, you need to learn to take care of your room. How many are elsewhere? Okay, in this problem, you must not add 5 plus 1. There's 5 here and 1 here, but do not add those two numbers. That's the wrong answer. You cannot answer 6 are elsewhere. Instead, we think this way, that the teddy bears that are somewhere else and the one teddy bear in his room together make five. So there's one teddy bear in his room and then so many teddy bears somewhere else and those together make a total of five. One plus how many makes five? The answer is four. Four teddy bears are elsewhere. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.